Okay, greetings and thank you for joining Bloom from Within Love. I go by Bloomy and um, yes, you guys do see me um, driving. I'm actually, <clears throat> well, you see the back seat. <laughs> um, I'm leaving the park, but anyway, I'm just coming on just to share some excitement and positivity here and <clears throat> talk a little bit about synchronicity and setting intention and the reason why I want to talk about it is because I was here at the park meditating setting intentions and doing a tarot reading for myself an oracle reading for myself and I set certain intentions and what's ironic and it's not even ironic but <clears throat> this is what happened I came into alignment and I attracted <clears throat> by my intention an interaction with someone that was probably one of the most positive high vibrational experiences <clears throat> that I've had in a while this person you know was inquiring about who I was and what I did because they saw me doing that tarot reading and um Lo and behold, you know, we have that in common and, on, you know, similar paths. And um, he started talking about, you know, how he's growing his channel and his Instagram and just, you know, kind of sharing his story a little bit. And as, you know, the more we talked with each other, um, the more, you know, things were revealed. Because at first I was in super skeptic mode, okay, super skeptic mode. Um, and that's because, you know, I'm still processing energy and sometimes I don't know why things are being presented to me because sometimes things are presented because you need to stand up to a challenge. You need to stand up to this and that. And so because of that, I was just kind of like, okay, all right. And he knew it too. He felt it. And after we talked, we talked for like an hour. Um, so he, this person you know, we both had to leave, you know, eventually he had to get going and so did I. But, you know, this person may very well end up being like a partner, some kind of a divine partner in this arena. You know, not all interactions are always romantic or sexual in nature, though he had us on little jokes, you know, um, he couldn't deny. But that's that's human to me. Um, However, the authenticity was there. The sincerity was there. Um, it was just pleasant. And he's very knowledgeable and has grown, you know, his own business and audience and so forth. And he shared all this information so I can look into that. And, you know, um, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. And he made himself available. He was like, look, hey, you know, we could connect and talk and, you know, maybe, you know, we'll see. And I was just saying in my intention about coming into alignment with those that are resonating and those that have the same belief system on some level, even in terms of business and partnership and entrepreneurship, wanting to attract not only the right clients or customers, but also wanting to attract the right associates, those that have the same kind of heart. You know, we talked about bartering system and things like that because, you know, when you honor and recognize something in a person, sometimes it's not always down to the frequency of the dollar. Nothing wrong with the dollar, but it's just an energy exchange. It's currency. And so, you know, we were just talking about, you know, support and supporting others and then feeling worthy for the money and things like that. But not putting everything centralized on that at the same time understanding value in other things right and so it was just a very pleasant experience you know and i wanted to share it you know to hopefully encourage some of you all in terms of setting intentions in your meditation coming into alignment with that magician energy in the major arcana and tarot being in neutrality and allowance and you know I was feeling good I was meditating you know I was even crying at some point because sometimes I just allow tears to 
flow, you know, when I'm meditating or, you know, things like that, if I'm doing a, a tarot reading on myself or an oracle reading. Um, and so I was just like, wow. And then he came over like three times. Like, I think he was scared. Um, he admitted later, he's like, man, I think I'm kind of intimidated. But, and he really shouldn't be. I mean, I think he's probably more established than I am in this arena. And, you know, that's why I'm like, okay. <laughs> But, um, you know, he, he recognized something in me and spoke on it. And I can appreciate those types of experiences where people recognize your traits, the good things. They don't just find something to pick on. You know, oh, you need to do this different and better. And, you know, people who operate in that energy, and that's because they're in that energy, you know. But the rule of business, the rule of psychology is before you start doing that, you want to sandwich things. You want to highlight positive things. You want to show that you even value and recognize the good aspects of what someone is or does before you start saying, oh, yeah, you need to not do that, not do that, not do that, and not do that. It's like, okay, do you see anything, you know, of value? And usually people are overly critical because they're overly critical of themselves. Um, or there are some insecurities there and, and you know that's how they make themselves feel better um so i don't know how i got there <laughs> anyway it was just a very good experience we both left like we we're laughing so much and you know yet it was such a meaty conversation it wasn't useless minutia it wasn't it wasn't all about oh you you know girl you fine and you know Ooh, you know, which is nothing wrong with that. But a person like myself, first of all, I'm 44 years old. You know what I'm saying? I only look this way, but I'm 44 years old. And um, I can certainly enjoy a nice, healthy, balanced exchange and conversations with someone who gets you. Because it sucks to be in conversations with people. I, well, I shouldn't say it sucks. I'm sorry. It's not all that fun where you're in conversations with people who really don't even get you. They don't, they don't even like you. Or they don't even like what you're about. You know what I'm saying? They just, you know, may think you're cute, may think you're sexy, may think, you know what I'm saying? Those things. But in terms of your whole person, they don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? And they're not even, you know, they probably low-key, you know, despise it or something. And if that's the case, it's like... I'm not interested in those kinds of exchanges anymore. Because you put too much energy out into that. And then what was it for when someone was only really interested in an aspect of you. Um, and they disliked the other part of you, which is equally you. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that's for somebody, okay? I don't know who that's for. But be intentional with your intentions. <laughs> And in meditation and self-care and centering. And because I tell you, that magician energy kicked in. I was like, oh, okay. You know, and so, you know, you guys go for it. I think we're still in the new moon energy or the eclipse, new moon eclipse or something like that. I was looking into that. I'll probably do an upload on the moon phases. Um, and how you can use all of it in a high vibrational way. My intention is to center on the positive and good ways of acknowledging energy or moon phases and astrology versus, oh my God, this is going to be hell on wheels. You know, like when people, if you're in that mind, then that is going to be how it looks, how it feels, how it seems. Because you've aligned with it and you've accepted it and start expecting it. And... I'm just in a phase now where I want to shift all of that, realizing that we really do have that much power. No matter what astrological makeup we have, could it pose a little bit more challenge on the surface? Sure. For the ego part of who we are, certainly. Especially if we haven't done any energetic um, healing work, you know, or dealt with our shadow aspects, certainly. But it doesn't mean that it's not possible just because maybe you look at your natal birth chart, your astrological planetary makeup, and you go, oh, good gracious God, shoot me now. 
You know what I'm saying? Shit. You know, like, who the hell? You know, but it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to be that way. And that's something I'm starting to learn more and more and find out every day how it doesn't have to be. You know, um, we all have a dark night of the soul or when things seem to be a little more challenging than we want it to be, you know, but it's not the end all and we can shift. And and that's kind of what I wanted to share with you all because such positivity came out as a result of my meditation and my intention this morning. And I probably have a business partner, you know, and someone, I think he mentioned, you know, he'll be willing to come on broadcast with me and, and things like that. So we can share both perspectives, the yin and yang, and, you know, both of our different styles and, and speak to the audience, you know, from that place. And so I, I'm really grateful for that. All right. So you guys take care and set good intentions. Okay. Um, love yourself, you know, support yourself, take care of yourself. At the end of the day, you are with yourself, right? All right. Here at Bloom From Within Love, we believe everything is energy. Balance is the key. Send in love and light. Namaste.